What's good everybody, it's your boy GQuack420 back at it with another episode of Collect the Disconnect. And on today's episode, we're just gonna be taking a real quick look at the brand new Spin Masters 27 inch bat wing that just dropped from uh, Target.com. And uh, first and foremost, shout out to your boy uh, Red Pill Animations for letting me know that this thing was um, actually available online to ship. I think it only took about two days to actually get here. So I um, can't wait to open this guy up. Show you guys uh, what Spin Masters is capable of, especially with these uh, movie vehicles from The Flash. I'm kind of really hyped to open that up. And if you guys look over to my left, your right, I actually cut up a rough estimate of how big the uh, McFarlane DC Multiverse Gold Label Exclusive Batwing is going to be. So I can't wait to actually take the Spin Master out and uh, see what we're getting for 40 bucks versus 250. And real quick, I actually did order that McFarlane Toy Exclusive Batwing. Um, it was 250 bucks uh, up front, which is kind of crazy. Um, I was actually guessing it's going to be around 150 to maybe 200 max, but I was more looking for that 150 price, like everybody else was. But I mean, that thing is like three feet tall, uh, bigger than my Hazlab Galactus, which I will be pulling out uh, for comparisons with this one and my rough uh, cutout, just so you guys can actually see how big that is. Like, I don't think most of you guys in the comments and on YouTube can actually wrap your hand around how big that is. Like this thing right here. Is going to be 27 inches which is not bad but um it is 40 bucks which is actually way better i think in value than the batwing from mcfarland but like i said i still would be picking that one up so yeah like i said this will be a real quick video um, i'm just going to be unboxing the uh spin masters batwing real quick um giving you guys my initial reaction and thoughts of course and then at the end do some size comparisons with the rough cutout i did of the mcfarland batwing and also bring the big g over here himself uh, the Hazlab Galactus, just so you guys can see, um, you know, what this McFarlane thing is actually going to be capable of. So, let's not stand on ceremony, Mr. Wayne. And without further ado, let's get it cracking. Alrighty, guys, so here we have the Spin Master box once again. And uh, this is as far back as my camera is going to go for right now. But as you can tell, this thing is still super huge. Once again, for 40 bucks, I don't think you can beat that price. But unfortunately, um, as of this morning, this thing's actually sold out um, from Target. Um, I'm assuming a bunch of collectors got wind of this and uh, if they couldn't afford that McFarlane Batwing, um, they probably opted out for this. So this thing is pretty big. Um, it says it's about 27 inches long. I do have my handy um, tape measure right here just to confirm that with you guys. And uh, the McFarlane one's gonna be 35 inches long. So that's about an eight inch difference right there but a $210 difference um, before shipping. So I don't know if those eight inches are actually gonna be worth it. Um, like I said, I'm still gonna get it regardless because I actually want my seven inch Keaton uh, figure to actually fit in the bat wing. And on this one, I don't know if you guys can see, but he's actually gonna be laying down uh, this 12 inch uh, Keaton, uh, laying down kind of like a coffin. Real quick, I do wanna give you guys some uh, dimensions on this box. It's about 28 inches in uh, width and about 15 inches in length. Uh, which is pretty big the box that it came in from target was even bigger and speaking of that target box i actually use it to do the rough estimate on the mcfarlane uh bat wing right here which is not going to fit in frame at all let's see if we can move this box out of the way so real quick here we have the rough estimate of the mcfarlane bat wing right here um, i believe it's 35 inches wide and 27 inches uh tall this thing is truly freaking massive uh once you see it in hand you kind of get a sense of how big this thing's gonna be. Um, I wonder how much it's actually gonna weigh, but I know that you can actually mount that bad boy in your wall. So real quick, here's a picture of this giant beast um, up against the wall. Um, the same wall I'm actually gonna be hanging the actual McFarlane Batwing on. And I uh, thank God he's including a wall mount because I mean, if you actually try to display this thing laying down, I mean, that thing is huge. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open that Spin Masters Batwing up and uh, give you guys some more thoughts. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, so I open it backwards. I guess you guys can see it first. It does come in three uh, individual pieces, the two wings and the main body itself. Um, off the top, this thing is pretty light. I don't really care if it's too light on the McFarlane one, but I just kind of don't want it to be all completely uh, cheap hollow plastic like this. Um, this is still gonna be a really good uh, centerpiece for the time being. I will be hanging this up on the same wall I was uh, referring to earlier. So uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and uh, put it together. 
Alrighty guys, so first reaction, this thing is pretty fucking sick. I've actually never owned a toy Batwing before in my life, so just having one right here in my hands right now, uh, it's kind of pretty surreal. And just imagining the freaking McFarlane one being eight inches bigger than this. Oh man, I guess size truly does matter. But here we go, real quick look of it in the box. This thing is super sleek. Um, unfortunately, I think this cockpit opens up all the way. So yeah, this is a pretty huge uh, cockpit right here. Um, you know, it's not gonna be accurate to the movie since it is made to house a 12 inch Keaton figure laying down like a coffin, which is pretty weird, but I actually did want to pick up that uh, 12 inch Spin Masters Keaton just cause it looks pretty good. So I might be modding this a bit. Um, I'm thinking about maybe blacking out the back with some tent or something like that, just to make it a little bit more screen accurate since only like the first half of this actually uh, opens up on the actual um, movie Batwing. So before we put the Batwing together, let's go ahead and get the man himself out. This is of course Michael Keaton as Batman and the new suit from the Flash movie. Like I said earlier, I was actually planning on picking this bad boy up once I saw it was unveiled. Um, I did pre-order the 12 inch Keaton statue, but I think I'm actually gonna cancel that just cause if this thing is 12 inches tall and uh, looks this good, I think I might just opt out for this instead of the statue. I actually did just pick up that Batman Hush statue, which just looks pretty freaking cool compared to the Keaton one. Um, I don't really like the little pose that he was in, so uh, I think I might be skipping that statue and just uh, going with this right here. Overall, this is pretty sick though. I mean, this is kind of like the Titan series for the Marvel uh, figures right here. It's pretty articulated. Um, you can't really get, you know, too crazy with it but i mean for 40 bucks i would pay that much just for the batwing by itself so i'm kind of considering this thing uh free which like i said i wanted to get anyway and um, i don't know if you guys can see the likeness is actually pretty damn good so overall super hyped to actually have this guy in my collection i don't know if i'm actually going to be sticking this guy in the batwing uh, permanently but he will be um in the display somewhere else so once again here we have the uh michael keaton batman from the flash movie looking pretty badass cloth cape uh, just like McFarlane is going to be doing for his figure. Um, like I said, I did pre-order that one and the unmasked version as well. Alrighty, so now for the Batwing itself. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out of the box. Holy crap. I mean, just this like midsection alone is like fucking amazing, dude. 40 bucks. Let's just say this Keaton Batman figure right here goes for like 10, 12 bucks, I believe, um, by itself. This thing right here is about $30, which is fucking crazy. So yeah, here we have the front view right there. Uh, this guy is truly a beast. Kind of looks like a jet without the wings on right now. Um, the bottom is pretty nice as well. We have, I guess, like the uh, hover uh, engines right there. And we have some landing gear right here as well. Let's pop these bad boys out real quick. Uh, pretty cool. The wheels don't actually move. Um, I mean, which is okay. I'm not gonna be like playing with this or anything like that. This will just be a display piece for me. And uh, like I said, for that price, I could not pass this up. And uh, I mean, now it's sold out, so I guess most collectors couldn't pass this bad boy up either. So here we have the midsection, which looks pretty badass on its own, honestly. Real quick, here's a look at the uh, ginormous freaking cockpit. Um, like I said, the Keaton figure is supposed to be laying down in there, kind of like a coffin, which is pretty funny. Um, a lot of people were actually commenting on Sahaman's um, video uh, to see if an actual seven foot, seven foot, a uh, seven inch uh, McFarlane figure can fit in there. Real quick, let me just see. Um, yeah, this thing is only two inches deep, which I actually suspected. Uh, it's not gonna fit any actual figures sitting up. My initial um, thought was maybe to hollow it out, but I mean, there's actually nowhere for this thing to go. Uh, it's only like an inch thick right there, so you wouldn't really be able to actually put a chair in here uh, per se to put a figure in here, so. That kind of sucks, but like I said, this thing will just be hanging up on my wall, so I don't really need an actual figure uh, to be inside. So there's that once again. All right, next up, we do have some ginormous freaking bat wings for the bat wing itself. Uh, these are pretty badass on their own. Boom, there you have your miniature bat wing just using two wings. Um, I did see a cool comment saying that uh, you can actually make like a battle ax out of this uh, bat wing. Um, which is pretty cool. I saw the Foosh mention that this can actually be like a shield as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and attach these bad boys to the main um, canopy uh, midsection and uh, see how it looks. So yeah, the bottom of both the wings are hollow. I mean, it's to be expected. This thing's only $30 basically. And a pretty simple design. You're just gonna snap these bad boys in real quick. A little uh, snap and play action going on. 
voila, one wing on there. There you go. We have both the wings on the Spin Masters bat wing. And uh, honestly, guys, um, I can see you guys passing on the McFarlane uh, $250 bat wing and just sticking with this. Um, if you guys have never owned a bat wing before and just want one in your collection, uh, this guy is truly a fucking beast. I mean, just look at this thing. Um, for sure, worth 40 bucks. I probably would have paid like $60, honestly, uh, just to get one of these guys right now. No pre-order. Uh, no wait time. Like I said, the thing was shipped out like within 48 hours of me ordering it. And uh, like I said, now it's out of stock, unfortunately. So if you guys are still interested in this, um, just, you know, be on the lookout. Be vigilant on Target.com. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be showing up in stores uh, pretty soon. So, uh, yeah. Hey right, guys, so here we have the landing gear engaged. And like I said, these wheels aren't actually functioning, which I'm okay with. Like I said, for this price, I don't think you can beat it, especially for the size. So let's go ahead and get some quick measurements real quick, uh, just so you guys can uh, kind of get a grip of what we're dealing with here. The width of this bad boy, it's going to be around, i say almost 30 fucking inches. Um, it said it was actually only 27 inches. Here we have 27. And actually, as you can see, it's a few inches short of that. So here we have it, a 30 inch bat wing for 40 bucks. And it includes this really badass articulated Michael Keaton figure. And uh, upon closer look, this actually does resemble Michael Keaton. I think a little bit more than the actual McFarlane figures do and the statues he has. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but both of these items right here, a 30 inch long fucking bat wing, a 12 inch tall Michael Keaton figure for under 45 bucks. I think I paid $43 and some change. That right there is like the deal of the century, man. Like this thing looks like it could have cost a hundred bucks, honestly. I'm not even messing around. It is so freaking beautiful and nice. Here we have the top view of this bad boy. I mean, like I said, this thing is pretty fucking massive. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep on bringing up the price because minus this $10 Batman figure right here, this thing is only $30 in value right here for a 30 inch wide Batwing. I really do hope this bad boy comes back in stock for people who actually really want a Batwing and uh, can't afford $250 for McFarland's. Um, like I said, you can't beat the price on this bad boy. The only negative thing, of course, is this cockpit, which is made, uh, you know, just to lay down the Batman figure. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and put him in his coffin real quick. So this comes off real easy. Uh, just be careful with that, guys. It just has a simple little couple pegs to actually uh, put back in. And here we have a 12 inch uh, Batman Keaton figure right here. And like I said earlier, this is basically a coffin for this guy, which is actually pretty funny. Um, I don't know why it would come with a 12 inch figure. Uh, they do have the four inch Batwing that comes with the figures as well which is more uh, appropriate for the size. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, put Batman in his final resting place. And uh, kind of reminds me of one of those slides at the water park where like the floor like opens up and you just fall right down. Uh, this is kind of what Keaton is doing right now. It looks pretty cool, but like I said, I won't be actually keeping him in there. Um, I'll have this figure actually posed up on my shelf somewhere. And uh, real quick, let me go ahead and pull out my rough estimate of the McFarlane Batwing and see how it compares uh, to this bad boy right here. All right guys, so for 40 bucks, you're getting this really amazing 30 inch wide Batwing from Spin Masters. And for $250, you're getting this 35 inch wide um, Batwing from McFarlane. So like I said guys, this is just a rough estimate of how big I think the McFarlane Batwing is gonna be. I'm um, using the dimensions that was provided by McFarlane, uh, which was 35 by 27, I believe. So as you can see, um, obviously it's going to be a little bit bigger than the Spin Masters. Um, my question is to you guys, is it going to be worth an extra $210? Um, I don't know about that. Uh, of course, the McFarlane one is going to be way more detailed, obviously way bigger, um, probably with better plastic. Like I said, for the most part, this is mostly hollow, um, has a huge freaking uh, cockpit. And uh, both the bottom of the wings are hollow as well, so it doesn't actually weigh much, but for 40 bucks. I think you're getting a real uh, good bang for your money right here. This will be a really nice display piece. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna mount this to the wall. Um, I might just actually make like a hook or something and put it on my wall with this uh, landing gear. So it hangs up like this, bang. And I like the Foosh said, uh, if someone breaks into your house, you might be able to use this bad boy as a shield or even attach a stick to this. And now you got a freaking bat ax right there. So. Uh, 
But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and bring out the Haslab Galactus. I believe that guy is around 31 inches, 36 inches. Um, I'll get an actual measurement on that just so you guys can see what the scale is. I believe the Haslab Galactus was like $400 to $450. Um, I actually bought mine second hand, so I paid around the same price as that. But obviously, if I picked up that Galactus, I'm 100% still going to pick up that McFarlane Batwing, uh, no matter the price. Like I said earlier, 250 kind of pushing it i would have much preferred 150 or uh, 200 especially seeing this right here for 40 bucks uh, like i said take out the figure and this is actually a 30 dollar bat wing right here i definitely think he could have charged um 150 dollars but it is a store exclusive meaning he will only be selling that bad boy um online on his store uh, the batmobile that he just released was only 60 bucks um i thought that was actually going to be around 80 to 90 dollars um when it was first revealed so $60 for a mass retail uh, Batmobile that sold out within 24 hours it's kind of hard to compare to a store exclusive gold label uh, Batwing which is going to be almost twice the size like I said a store exclusive so there's not going to be a lot made in production so I do see some of the reasoning for that price like I said it could have been cheaper but I'm still going to be picking it up all right guys so real quick here we have the big G himself the Haslab Galactus from Marvel Legends I just want to give you guys a real quick a sense of the scale of the Spin Masters Batwing and the McFarlane Batwing for my rough estimate. So real quick, let's go ahead and measure this bad boy. I kind of forgot how tall he was. So from the top of his head, it's around 30 and a half inches um, on top of his crown. Looking at 32 inches clean. So uh, yeah, 32 inch tall Galactus, I believe was like $450 at the time. Um, of course, this thing is articulated, so and comes with light-up chest piece and eyes. Uh, no sound effects, which I really wish they would have included for $450. But I'm seeing online the main gripe of that $250 price point for the Batwing is no lights and no sound effects. Which, honestly, I'm okay with because, like I said, I'm not going to be playing with this at all. I uh, hardly ever actually move this guy out of his final position on my shelf. So for that McFarlane Batwing, I'm not going to be playing with it. I'm not going to be... Uh, messing around with it too much i will just be hanging it up on my wall until i get a new house and uh, once i get a new house it's going to be on my wall probably forever so yeah guys i don't really mind that it doesn't have any lights or sound because i'm probably not going to utilize them myself so yeah real quick let's go ahead and get into some comparisons with the uh, two bat wings first off we do have the 27 inch well more like 30 inch uh wide bat wing from spin masters and this compared to galactus um, it's still a pretty decent size. So real quick, this thing is about 22 inches long, which is not bad at all. Almost two feet tall. Boom, so right here is a better view of the Spin Masters Batwing. Only about four or five inches shorter than the Galactus, which is pretty fucking crazy, guys. Uh, real quick, let's go ahead and bring out that McFarlane rough estimate cutout, just so you guys can see how massive that bad boy is gonna be compared to these two. All right, so here we have the rough estimate of the McFarlane Batwing right here. 35 inches wide, 27 inches tall. Let's see how it compares to Galactus. I mean, look how huge this thing is. You can't even see Galactus, guys. So I don't really think this is gonna fit all in the frame, but I mean, you can see this freaking McFarlane Batwing is gonna tower over this Galactus by a couple of inches. So in my personal opinion, I do see the value for this Batwing from McFarlane. Um, seeing as I already bought this $450 big ass action figure, I can obviously afford to get this $250 Batwing. But when comparing it to the Spin Masters $40 Batwing, I see where the argument arises that this is still overpriced. Alright guys, so in conclusion, my final words and opinions about this Spin Master Batwing uh, versus the McFarlane DC Multiverse Batwing is pretty simple. So yes, I do agree that the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Gold Label Exclusive Batwing is severely overpriced. I would have much rather preferred to have paid 150 bucks, especially seeing this amazing $40 Batwing from Spin Masters, which is only eight inches smaller um, than what the McFarlane Batwing is gonna be. So obviously guys, if you can't afford the $250 Batwing from McFarlane, this is an amazing alternative. Um, to that hopefully it comes back in stock and hopefully you guys can find it in stores if you really want a batwing and you can't afford the mcfarlane one like i said in the beginning i still did purchase that mcfarlane batwing the second it went up on his website and um, seeing this in hand and actually having it 
is kind of changing my opinion about it. But like I said, I do still want to support McFarlane, no matter uh, how expensive this Batwing is. I mean, he has been having the same exact price on his figures for the past three years. He's only had one price hike that just came out on this new wave of figures for $22.99. The Batman bill is only 60 bucks. I mean, that dude has given us a lot of value for our money. So I'm okay spending $250 on a giant Batwing that rivals the size of the Galactus from the HasLab Marvel Legends stuff. And all honesty, I'm kind of already tired of arguing about if that McFarlane Batwing is worth $250. Um, most of you guys are saying you'd rather wait for a sale, which uh, more power to you guys. Um, hopefully it does drop in price for everyone who actually wants one. But like I said, if you can't afford that, you can't afford $150 for a Batwing. This right here, the Spin Masters, is the next best thing. And real quick before we go, I will be giving you guys a closer final look at this amazing Batwing from Spin Masters. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for always showing love and support on the channel and in the comment section. Once again, shout out to Red Pill Animations. Um, he has an amazing channel. He does a lot of uh, DC Multiverse McFarlane stuff. So for sure, I'll be uh, leaving a link in my description so you can check him out. But uh, thank you once again, Red Pill, for putting me on to this amazing um, Spin Masters Batwing. It really is an amazing piece for the price. You can't beat it. So yeah, without further ado, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.